All right, well, got a charbroil smoker for Christmas, and uh, I'm a uh, smoker virgin. So my youngest son and I decided to get a, a chicken and throw it in there. Um, now they say if you're if you're looking, you ain't cooking. So uh, this is all new to me. We got it at about 225, and it's been going on probably for about an you know, hour and a half, almost two hours. And we splayed a chicken, threw it in there, and it's looking pretty good. Um, we've got we've got mesquite. They say apple wood or cherry wood is the best way to go with chicken, but we're learning, so we're just having a good time. I mean, that does look good. You can't tell me that does not look good. And uh, so we put some uh, uh, a various uh, amount of herbs, or as my college age son would say, herbs. We've got rosemary, we've got apple juice, we've got um, thyme, brown sugar, we got all kinds of goodies. So we're going to give it a shot, and you know, they say, uh, like I say, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. We dropped her down a little bit since then. <clears throat> but um, it's been smoking really good. We're going to go back and get some apple wood, cherry wood, and we're going to just, we're just going to have fun with it. But... Uh, Anyway, Merry Christmas, and uh, looking forward to cutting into this bird. All right. Okay, so we're waiting for it to finish cooking. A little quick note, we got this at uh, Park Rose in Vancouver, and the, the original one, when it came, opened it up, and, and the grates were rusted, and there was rust inside the unit, and the cardboard had, like, mold on the inside. So I said, no, I'm not take, I'm not going to deal with that. So we took it back, and uh, Forrest came up. Forrest came up and said, no, that's defective, no problem. So they swapped it out um, with another one that had just been in the, the, the storeroom for about a week. So, uh, yeah, the first one we got, there was rust in it like it had been, it had been uh, sitting outside for a while. And, um, yeah, Forrest over there at 162nd in, uh, in Vancouver at the Park Rose was really cool. And he was more than helpful in getting a, getting a new one. So we got that loaded up and brought it home. So we're trying it out. We're excited. And, um, well, we're meat eaters. So, um, hopefully it'll be cooked good. Let you know. critters out here tonight. What's that? They're coming for the meat. Keep them away, Tuck. Temperature's getting away from me. NASA, we got a problem. We got a problem. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We don't know what we're doing. Okay, since this was an experiment, Mama had uh, made some dinner. She had uh, paninis, so we're having paninis for dinner since this was only an experiment and we'll eat the meat no matter what uh tucky had a bite of panini the ham panini from christmas so we're at about two and a half hours in right now and uh temperature is going up i mean we're gonna probably burn that we're gonna dry that bird out i don't know like i say uh, we're not professionals by any means, but we're having fun. And when I smell that, oh man, it smells good. I can smell the the rosemary. And um, so next time I open it, we're gonna take it out. Done, not done, whatever. 
we're gonna we're gonna pull it out and take a look cut it open and see what it looks like but it smells good having a great time and uh we'll see what it looks like okay it's been two hours and 40 minutes the temperature is up to uh, about 315 degrees so either it's going to be a disaster I, I don't know it, it could be anything because like i say we're we're just trying to figure this out but we're having fun so i'll tell you what that bird doesn't look too bad okay mm. Mm. We gotta kill. We gotta kill the uh, bacteria. And you now it's 190 plus degrees inside, so I think it's dead. I think any bacteria is dead. So if anything else, um, I think this bird's gonna be a little bit. Well, it's gonna be overcooked, but it looks golden brown. It's got uh, various herbs on it, as my son would say, and. Uh, I think it's going to be good, and I'm excited. I'm not going to get uh, E. coli or any other kind of uh, disease. Oh, mm. so Ducky. So it's been two hours and 43 minutes. Uh, the temperature has ranged anywhere from 200 to 350 degrees, and. Um, that's mesquite. Uh, we've used water and apple juice. <clears throat> we had various herbs, uh, dry rub, uh, top and bottom on this chicken. And um, we've had brown sugar, salt, pepper, uh, thyme, thyme, uh, oregano, I mean, all of them, you name it. My, my son, my youngest son, put a lot of stuff on it. And uh, that was a fun thing. We just, we did our own thing. And it smelled good, and uh, we're gonna open it up. It's golden brown. We're gonna cut it open and see what it tastes like. So that's the uh, the charbroil smoker, and uh, I don't really think I need to cut it open and, and and try it. I think we're just gonna just cut it off here. So so uh, hey, you know what? Get a smoker. You don't have to be a professional. Uh, we did turn the heat down once it got up to about 350 degrees we turned the heat down because it was like it was kind of getting out of control hey log what do you think I'm good. so take a look at that what do you think dude Ooh, nice and crispy looking it looks pretty good doesn't it yeah Is, does it smell good yeah and uh, you want to try the temperature I put it in it was like over 200 degrees okay. right you think thigh so we'll stick it wherever you want I mean, uh, that should be good. Yeah, it was up there. It was it was over two hundred. Mm -hmm. So I think I think it's going to be good. You want so need we, a bacon pan? You think? Do what? You want me to grab a bacon pan for you? I don't. Well, I have a pan. I got that platter right there. Why don't you grab that, and then we'll pull it out, and tongs? we'll see what happens, huh? You want her tongs? Yeah, we don't need the tongs. We have your hands. Her. What do you think? It looks good. You oh, right. it's falling off the bone. Yeah. You want me to go take it in on the counter? Though? Yeah. Take it on in. Tucky. Thank you. you. All right, guys. Take care. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.